everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Alyssa here, and I am checking in from. You have to guess. You have five seconds. I'm no longer in Miami. Um, I am actually in a little sleepy beach town called Englewood, Florida. What am I doing here? I do not know. Um, sorry, my dryer is on in the background and my room is running as well. So, um, yeah, basically, um, I don't know. I just decided to get out of Miami and come take a contract over here. Um, this looks way, always my makeup looks way whiter, like on on the screen than it does in person. I swear it's not this pale. Unless it is and I'm just Delulu. That'd be crazy. Um, but yeah, I decided to take a contract over here. Um, it's three months and then I'll probably go back to California. Um, I kind of just wanted to go somewhere where there's no distractions so that I can get myself together. Um, I feel like I was losing it. Um, <laughs> literally losing it like mentally physically everything in LA and I thought that going home to like Miami and like Broward County and Fort Lauderdale this looks crazy hold on would be the answer and it was not the answer at all at all why does my face look so much whiter it's not like that wow I look ghost How about close up? Okay, wait. I don't know why, like, what the setting is that it keeps... There we go. I don't know why. It's so weird. I, like, I don't know. I haven't used my camera in so long that, like, all the settings are messed up. And it's, like, emphasizing things that I don't think it normally would. Maybe. Because I swear it doesn't look like that. Unless I'm very delusional. I could be very delusional. I could be. No. Hold on. It doesn't look so bad now. It still looks kind of crazy though. I don't know. Whatever. I've literally been on YouTube like bald as heck, which I never thought that I would ever do. So I could really care less if the settings are messed up. So let's see, I'm far away. Still looks crazy. My face looks ghost. Whatever. So yeah, so I just kind of wanted to get away from everything, outside influences, um, and just kind of be by myself with Simba. Um, and focus on what I want to focus on, which is my health, my fitness, and yeah, that's pretty much what I want to focus on. And doing my YouTube channel, getting that back going, and just like the things that matter. This looks insane in the membrane. I don't know why. So that's why I'm in Englewood, Florida. And it's really nice. I'm two minutes from the beach, uh, which is really cool. So, um, but I am taking a significant pay cut. And I also, see, yeah, my face looks wild. I'm so sorry. I don't know why it's like that. But um, I am taking a significant pay cut, right? <laughs> and um, I also... Like this, it looks like it doesn't even match me, but I swear, like in here, it matches perfectly. Whatever. But I am taking a significant pay cut, and I'm also like working with no ratios, right? But I'm working at like this small, like put on hospital that has like nothing going on, so I do feel like it's gonna be a good break. Um, Cause I was doing level one trauma at one of the top hospitals when I was in California. Let me stop the room by one sec.
It looks a little better. No, nope, still looks like it doesn't match. I don't know why. I don't know what to do. I have to like mess with the settings on the camera. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. I was working at the top hospital in LA and like number two in the country and it was fun and it was a great experience, great opportunity and having that hospital on my resume is great. Like I can go anywhere, but I don't know why it looks like that, but um, I don't know. I just, uh, it got to be a lot. Saw a lot of really bad traumas and I don't know. I just had to get out of LA honestly, but I'll probably end up going back there to take a permanent nursing job eventually. Um, but for right now, I just needed to like come home and just chill, which is weird because like Englewood, Florida is not home and I don't know anybody here, right? But So pale. I don't know why. Maybe if I turn this off, let me see. Let me see what this does. Let me see. It's better. Maybe it was just the light. Nope. I don't know. Same. Yeah, I think it's just the light that I have. Um, it's like really focused on my face, I guess. But yeah, so, um, it's weird because Englewood isn't home and I don't know anybody here, but I feel like that's what I needed. Um, I was just, uh, getting wrapped up in the wrong people and just, like, non-productive activities and I was very sad, you know, and you guys know that I have a history of depression um, and ever since COVID, I have anxiety ever since working in New York, uh, which I never had before, but plot twist, <laughs> I do now. So, um, I don't know. I just, uh, needed to get myself together and my mental health and LA was not the place to do it. There were too many distractions. Um, you know, and just like so many people wanting to hang out all the time. Um, and... As good as I am about usually like saying no, you know, I'm gonna go to the gym or I'm gonna do this. Like I just found myself just like being a people pleaser and just like hanging out with people and doing whatever they wanted to do. And eventually I just stopped doing the things that I love to do. And I, um, I don't know, had to get out. So what are we doing today, you ask? Um, today we are going to go and watch the sunset at the beach i live two miles from this beach and i'm just gonna bring you guys along we'll go watch the sunset and just vibe a little bit um i'll bring my hula hoop maybe we'll spin some fire maybe not i don't know if the ops are gonna be there and by ops i mean cops <laughs> sorry um so we'll see i don't know why i'm putting on makeup but i feel like getting ready makes me feel a little bit better about myself um I'm just like I don't know I don't know I, mean, I think I'll feel better once I start working even though I'm working for like literally barely a livable wage even as a travel nurse um but that's fine that's fine so I hope that you guys have all been good I have been very inconsistent with posting on YouTube um, I've been posting on TikTok like a monster, but for no reason, because, I don't know, I don't really like TikTok. It's like a love-hate relationship. I'm not doing like a whole, like, hair straight. I'm just doing like the tops. Um, yeah, face still looks really pale. I don't know. I gotta mess with these settings. Um, but I did turn off like all my comments on TikTok, and I unfollowed everybody except for Juice World. I even unfollowed like all my best friends, because... I don't know. I feel like just like I'm really blocking out any outside influences for right now and I'm really like focusing on me and does that mean that I can't watch other people's content and focus on me? Unfortunately yes I guess I'm not strong enough to so guess what I unfollowed everybody. <laughs> um, but like I went full Kanye and I hate to say that but I did. I went just full Kanye and just unfollowed everybody. Not that I think that I'm Kanye West at all but I definitely think I could have some of the same mental health issues he has. Um, 
I don't want you guys to be worried about me though at all. I'm definitely doing great. Simba's doing great. I do think Simba's sick. I think Simba caught something from the backyard in LA. Um, I'm taking him to the vet on Wednesday, but I think he may have caught like a mild form of mange, which is crazy because he's on his Simparica, which covers everything. But um, I don't know, he has like a little sore on the side of his mouth and his nose is a little bit weird. So I called and I made an appointment for the vet for him. Um, Cause we had all kinds of critters like in our backyard at all times. We had like we had skunks, we had foxes. There were a million different types of cats that like bleh, oh my god they always had like nasty diarrhea and they were always pooping in the yard. And I used to like spray the yard and treat the yard for like fleas and ticks and stuff. But um, because the Airbnb owner wouldn't. Um, and when I would tell him, he would be like, oh, well, they were there first, so, like, what? So, um, I don't know. I do think that Simba maybe caught, like, a mild form of something or, like, some kind of infection, so, which sucks because, like, I'm not really making any money right now. Um, and, uh, hold on. And, um... That looks crazy. I'm not really making any money right now, but obviously, like, I'm gonna pay any amount of money to, like, keep my breast, breast, my best friend healthy, Simba. Uh, and he's not acting any type of way. He's just itching a lot, but he doesn't have fleas. And, um, I bathed him in, like, a mange shampoo and flea and tick shampoo. Um, but he's still just very itchy, but there's no visible, like, flea or tick on him so just to be on the safe side even though it's going to be an early vet appointment um as far as like his yearly appointment i'm just going to take him to be a responsible prudent owner i got this onesie look you can't see yeah um so yeah that's um where i'm at in life right now um also i don't know why i always do my eyeshadow after my eyeliner i'm just doing like a little like in the corners um here we go so um i have my family in ocala my um my parents moved to ocala from down south south florida and um my grandparents and everybody's just getting older so i feel more comfortable and just like better about being here as opposed to being in california but um, I think once I get my shit together, my once I get my stuff together, like mentally and physically, um, I'll probably go back and take a staff job because I can't, I actually turned down my dream job. I turned down my dream job at University of Miami. They offered me um, ICU with a $25,000 sign-on bonus and I've always wanted to work at UM and I never, I never thought that I would ever get offered a job with a $25,000 sign-on bonus, first of all. Second of all, I never thought I'd get offered a job at UM and I applied and they wanted me so bad and then I just, I actually, I made it all the way to the last interview and I turned it down because it's barely a livable wage, like the hourly and the $25,000 sign-on bonus, like yeah, that is really good and that's great, but with the rent down there, like I'll never be able to buy a house. Um, so I'm just like, you know what, and like, yeah, same, possibly the same thing with, um, with LA, right? Like, you can see where I burn my, my hair right there, it's like, um, but possibly the same thing with LA, but if you have, I have like eight years of ICU experience, um, they, they go on a grid, a lot of the hospitals, because they have, um, they have unions, and they'll start you out at 63 an hour, which is crazy, so that's, what I'm looking at doing, but for right now, um, I'm going to stay in Florida for a, at least another three to six months and get myself healthy as far as working out every day. Um, it's crazy because being here reminds me a lot of being in Modesto, California. Um, there was absolutely nothing to do in Modesto, but the thing, the difference about Modesto and Englewood is that Modesto was... There was like a lot of crime and drugs. Over here, it's just a lot of people that come here for vacation and a lot of elderly people and just like, it's just like a sleepy beach town. Um, I don't feel unsafe here at all, which like my options were basically to go to like, to like Northern California or to come back home. And I literally just packed up all my stuff and just was like, I'm coming home. 
um, not knowing if I was going to be able to get a job over here, but eventually I did. And I'm going to make it work. I'm Like I said, I'm not making as much money, but the rent and everything here is so much cheaper. It's like the first time in months that I haven't paid $7 a gallon for gas, so that's really cool. Which reminds me, I have to make an appointment for Toyota. Um, but yeah, let's go to the beach and watch the sunset. I don't know if you can see me or not. Um, so we're putting on my hat, my little Lululemon bag. <sighs> I like to put it to the back. I know everyone wears it in the front. This is my little Mr. Charlie's um, thing. If you guys don't know what Mr. Charlie's is, Mr. Charlie's is a uh, like a vegetarian or vegan McDonald's. Okay. And then we got Simba here, a little sick boy. And then we also have Miami Santa. He's in his hot rum moment. Um, yeah, let's get the fire hoodie stuff together. Okay, so we have everything that we need. We have a chair. We have my little fire hooping bag. We got my hula hoops and the gas. Now I just gotta pack you guys up and we're ready. Let's go. Intersect on each one I reflect These lines write my story These places change me Each one replacing Like night into morning I miss the old 